it's Candy Johnson, and today I'm in the White House because I'm turning into two of the most beloved characters in the world. Harump. Even though you may not love both of these people, please show me love in the comments, and you can always vote for Candy. So let's get started. I'm not picking favorites. I'm just choosing Trump because maybe he's more interesting looking. Well, I've got my Trump and Hillary eyes in, which you weren't here, but it took me about an hour. And this is all of the makeup that we're going to be using to turn into good old Donald and Hillary. We got our Trump brows over here. We got some wrinkling effect products here. And then we have all these foundations and paints to make my skin look just like good old Don and Hill. The first thing I'm gonna do is start giving myself some good old Trump facial wrinkles. I'm gonna apply some wrinkle stipple onto my face, which this is normally done on somebody else, a little trickier to do on yourself, but I'm gonna try to do it. Almost forgot which side Trump was on. <laughs> you have to hold this as tight as possible, and then you can dry it with a fan. And this is normally where it helps if you have two hands. But I have got a cell phone fan, which we are going to dry this with. Oh! Are you trying to let the fan cut your thumb off when you're doing this with one hand? He's got this crease here, which we're gonna try to... Right here above. It's a big nose. Now we're gonna give some Trump crow's feet. Gotta stretch all your skin out here. And then paint a very light coat again. So we've done some old age stippling, giving myself some creases, and now I'm trying to get Trump's really unique skin color, where it's a little bronzy all around, and then a little white around the eye socket area. And now I'm just gonna go in for some more of that texture. We're gonna draw in some more wrinkles and crinkles to look just like Trumpy, and then uh, we're gonna put on, we're gonna glue on some special fancy eyebrows just for him. I'd raise an eyebrow, but I can't because my eye is stuck with all this stuff on my face. Can't make any expressions at all. <laughs> Stuff on. <laughs> oh, hurts to smile. I've noticed that since uh, Trump has been on the campaign trail, they've toned down his bronze. They've taken his bronzer color down. So I don't really know how he got that bronze look, but they've knocked whatever that was or told him to stay out of the sun or something because he looks looks a little more even toned than he he once did. If I was president. I would make no one pay taxes. I don't know how we'd pay for stuff, but uh, you just donate if you wanted to. How well you felt the president was doing, that's how much you donate. All right, we've trumped up our brows a little bit, added some more wrinklage, and I think it's time to head on over to Hillary Town. So for Hillary, we're going to contrast her skin color. She's not gonna be as bronze as Trump is. And then we're gonna do her very basic, but traditional classic makeup look. And, uh, we're gonna do some special creases that I've noticed that Hillary has on her face. So first for Hillary, we're gonna add her a uh, very unique, you know, wrinkles are kinda like fingerprints, so we're gonna give her her unique wrinkles for her expressions. I have never felt so powerful in my life putting makeup on as I do right now at this desk of absolute power over our entire country. Maybe even a little of the world. These are power brows. We have finished Hillary's makeup look. Now it's time to go get our Trump hair and Hillary hair wig on. Now I am back with my incredibly bipartisan piece of wardrobe and it's time for the cherry on top of our presidential Sunday, the wig. Seems that my brains are much too large to fit in the presidential wig. And voila, 10 hours later, I feel like the two most powerful people in the United States. So thanks for watching. If you need a killer costume look, here you go right here. Comment below, who would you vote for president? It doesn't even have to be either of these two. And uh, I've never been able to say this, but huge hugs from me, not, not just Donald and Hillary, uh, from the Oval Office to your house. We'll see you in the next video. Back is candy. Feel free to comment below that you'd vote for me if you'd like.